Hello and welcome to All I Do Is Fail. I am your host Tom Elwes and I'm in the studio today not with Ali Woods. He's gone off to Seville to watch his team lose. But I'm honoured today to be joined by the fantastic and incredibly funny Freya Mallard. Uh, how are you Freya? Are you well? Yeah, I'm good, good. Um, I know that you said about like having a fail for the week yeah. and it's going to sound like I made this up to impress you. Okay. But on the way here, oh, I witnessed an attack. Oh, cool. <laughs> so I'm actually a bit shaken up. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I held back. Live failure. Normally, <laughs> normally when we when we play the worst week game, it's sort of, you know, a bit of intro, whatever, but straight into I witnessed an attack. <laughs> well, I just wanted to say when you're like, how are you? I'm like, not amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come on to the attack, but... <laughs> But other than witnessing the attack, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah? <laughs> good, good, good stuff. How's, How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Gigging, surviving, yeah. trying to make content. What about yourself? Yeah, same thing. Just rinse, re- what is it? Wash, rinse, repeat? Yeah. Is that yeah, that's relevant? If you, if you don't follow Freya, she's very, very funny online. She does a lot of very funny content. Please check her out. Yeah, it's all At right. Freya Mallard. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid that you got your own name. That's good. It's good. Is that... Oh, did you have to... Make no, I, no, obviously there's no one else called Tom Elwes. No yeah. one. That's, uh, that's a pretty niche name, but... Do you yeah. know anyone else that had to, like... Yeah, like name? Raj. Raj uh, has to be Lord, Lord Raj with two Js or something, because obviously okay. there was another Lord Raj. Yeah. And, like, yeah, if you have anything, like, run-of-the-mill name-wise, you're, yeah. you're getting done. Yeah, yeah. I got Freya Mallard comedy. You got Freya Mallard... Whoa, okay, yeah, that's pretty exactly. good. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think... I don't know how many other Freyas there are in comedy. I know, all I know is Freya McGee. Okay. And I've decided that, have you ever, you know in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when they go like, let's be friends, best friends. Like, yeah. <laughs> when there's an act on the circuit that's similar to you, you have to be aggressively like, we're going to be friends. It's, <laughs> it's going to be okay. <laughs> we're not enemies yeah, yeah, yeah. yet. You have we're to not. just like really go into it hard. Yeah. And I do genuinely like her and I like a lot of like other female comics. I'm fine with it. I'm, I'm okay with okay, it. I, I'm, supportive. I'm really okay with it. Yeah. Supportive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Women in comedy, fine. Mm. <laughs> Other women in comedy, no. No. <laughs> uh, we are also joined by GCSE Lucas. Hello. Hello, it's good to be back. I'm filling in as the resident ginger. There always has to be at least one on yeah. the podcast, bro. Yeah. I don't know if you know, if you're familiar with the law. Is two okay? Usually there's two. Normally it's two. One time there was three and it was too much. Oh, that was mad. That was, was a great episode. Was it like Alistair Becker Keith? No, it was, <laughs> that was me. It was <laughs> a- Ali, <laughs> Lucas and Phoebe. Uh, and and there was, it was too much. It, it felt like a pride march. It was too much. It was, you know, yeah. it's not yeah, good. yeah. You uh, can't be the minority ever. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's not good for you. Yeah, usually they're the majority. Yeah. Yeah. But now they're back to minority. How, how, are, how are you, Lucas? I've been good. It's been a while since I've done the pod, but yeah. I've been uh, been good. Yeah. You've been cheating on us with other pods. I have. I've been doing a few other pods. I'm so sorry. But you've got Phoebe. Phoebe's doing a great job. Yeah. When she shows up. <laughs> um, or She's sick. in Venice at the moment. She's. I know. Um, living her best life. She always complains. Every week she complains. Like, oh, I live in a, a rat infested hellhole. And I'm like, well, you're swanning off to Venice, Phoebe. So calm down. There's okay. loads of rats in Venice, I think, aren't there? In the well, canals. she'll feel, she'll feel right, right at home. home yeah. yeah. <laughs> Between here and her flat. It's great. You know, so. <laughs> good oh, trade-off. It's a good trade-off. Solid trade-off. Um, right, guys. Should we play Worst Week? Cool. Okay. Uh, so Freya, you can begin because obviously you okay. witnessed an attack on the way here. So that's pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was gonna say like I had a pretty, pretty good week actually. But then like I was thinking on the bus, I was like, oh, I haven't I had a pretty good week. There's nothing I can think of. Um, no, witnessed an attack. But it was like I was on the bus, so yeah. I felt like some distance from it, and I heard some like commotion. I ran down. I was like shaking. It was like I saw blood. It was crazy. Wait, oh. you 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 ran down? I ran down because I was like, oh, what if they like. You know, your mind just goes to the weirdest place. I'm mm. like, what if they storm the bus and then I'm trapped on the top deck? See, now my first thought is to run run down. That's yeah. pretty touristy of you. Is that's it? <laughs> like, I'm like rubbing the yeah, thing. Yeah. That's a pretty touristy thing to do. Trying to get a but, good view. Yeah, exactly. No, uh, I was trying to get an exit point. Oh, you were looking for... Oh, okay. So you're trying to save yourself. Fuck the others. Yeah. Oh, was, that's more yeah, London. Yeah. I was at like, you know, the back of the back door on the bus. I was like ready to pounce if they opened it. But they okay. kept opening the front door. Wait, so what was what was the actual attack that went down? I don't know. It was just like two groups of people. I, I don't know if like how it was motivated, but it looked pretty like... Okay. Random. Even the guy afterwards who was covered in blood was just stood there like... Wow. Um, and so, yeah, I was just on the, the bottom... Um, watching but then the bus like couldn't get past because obviously like, there was loads of traffic yeah. so we just stood opposite watching it with a very good view yeah um oh wait so, so the attack happened outside the bus yeah, yeah. oh yeah. i thought it was on the bus no, no. yeah because i've seen obviously kick off on the tube yeah and 
I, I once got mugged on a tube Did right, you? when I was when I was a, a wee boy. Got mugged three times in my life, whatever. Uh, and uh, wh- yeah, no, no one did shit. Everyone just like looks down at their paper, just like looking away, don't yeah. get involved. You know. I know so many people that have been mugged, and I swear to God, I walk around London like stupid as you like, just like eh, like bag open, wide eyed, <laughs> tra- 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 trailing cash yeah. behind you. Yes, yeah. my the phone th- like yeah. that. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is maybe they look at you and think. Maybe she's not got that good stuff. <laughs> maybe, maybe me, that's it's not worth our time. It's not worth our stuff. They're going to take your phone and be like, sorry, do you need help? Yeah. Sorry, do you, are you no, okay? There's not Was a that an iPhone 8? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I look like I've got the stuff, okay? Mm. But yeah, I never I've have. Got I've got the stuff. <laughs> okay. But I've never been mugged. But my boss has, Um, she lives like, uh, I'm in Crouch End quite a lot. Yeah. And she lives there too. And she said her son has been mugged. Like he gets mugged every so week. So I grew up in, in Archway. Yeah. And like that, yeah, you're getting mugged. Like it's mm. if you grow up in North London, you just have to accept. Yeah. That you, look, you get to live in quite a nice green bit of London. You are going to get mugged. And that's a trade off. And I'm okay with that? that. And he, and also she said that apparently there's a bit of a code of conduct. Like they will mug boys, but they're like, nah, I've got a sister. And like, like you could like you know to respect women. You respect. Know I mean? <laughs> They're like don't don't mug girls. That's not cool. That's okay. Not cool. Do well, you know what I mean? There's a bit of a very forward that's, thinking muggers. Yeah. yeah. But then I know Tessa McLeod got mugged in Finsbury Park all the time. Not mugged, but like pickpocketed. She yeah. gets pickpocketed all the time. So a lot a lot of like I haven't been actually like physically mugged since I was like a, a teenager. But like certainly I've seen the kids try and swipe phones like on yeah. mopeds. That's yeah. big. And it's got to the point now. We're actually like on the Holloway Road. It's like a bit of the game. Like yeah. they'll sort of like come up and they'll like, oh, go onto the pavement, Ooh. and then you'll be like, well, and then they'll keep going, and then we're like, ah, I got yeah. next time. Oh, oh, you got me swiping, no swiping. Yeah. yeah. I was uh yeah I was walking through Soho the other week with my girlfriend and she was like she had her phone in her bag mm. and there was like uh, this guy trailing us yeah and he like went for her bag like went for her phone in her bag and she just told him to fuck off and I was like I had no idea what was going on I was like what happened she was like do you not notice that guy was trailing us I was like oh no I would have been completely useless if anything would have happened <laughs> <laughs> I would have cowered in the corner I was so unobservant yeah yeah I've like really because I worked in retail for a long time. I've like learned how to spot the pace of a mugger, if that makes sense, or like the pace mm. of someone that's up to something a bit naughty. Like, do you remember in the Sims game, like the the me games on the Wii, they'd have games where like there'd be like crowds and you'd have to spot the person moving <laughs> yeah, a bit yeah, faster, yeah. Yeah. and it's like that because <laughs> they just move at a different pace to people. Uh, so I, and now I've gotten really good at being like, don't, don't steal my stuff. Get out, get out of it. Yeah. yeah, I have noticed at Sainsbury's now they've got these new barriers. We have to scan your receipt before they let you go. No, really? Yeah. yeah. They started doing that because people are nicking too much stuff. I hate I getting used to a receipt, steal stuff though. from Sainsbury's. You used to steal stuff from Sainsbury's? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the biggest During the thing? pandemic. What's the biggest <laughs> That made oh, it okay. Oh, recently <laughs> then? <laughs> no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty recently, oh, yeah. I just got bored. Well, I was just bored during the pandemic and I lived right outside Sainsbury's, so I'd just go in there and steal something. Just to feel something, you know? Yeah. Just to, like, live. Get a bit of a rush. Get a bit of a rush. You're just like a yogurt. Yeah. Just oh, like, okay. like one. I'd do my shop and I'd pay for everything, but I'd steal, like, a yogurt. Well, it's like it's like the friends rule, isn't it? There's a certain level of theft that's okay, but but yeah. when, when it tips I only, over, I only did it like twice, but yeah. okay, it, it gave me a rush. You, when you were eating those yogurts, yeah, it was dark dark times. You could be a we had, we had to do what we could to get through the pandemic. Yeah, and if nicking yogurts is your thing, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. you know, um, Rich Hardesty kept stealing rice cakes from Sainsbury's <laughs> right because he loved them. But he kept stealing them. And then, like, basically the way that they refill, like, product is obviously if it's purchased, they'll be like, okay, we need to get some more rice cakes in. <laughs> but because he was just stealing them and they won't go through the till, they won't get replaced. So he'd come back in and be like, where's my rice cakes? And they were like, oh, yeah, people keep nicking them. And uh, so it means that we are getting <laughs> new orders of them. So he, like, screwed himself over because he couldn't get the new rice cakes. No more rice cakes. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, so is that is that your submission? Have you got anything else you would like to share that has happened to you? Well, I was going to say, I was like, oh, I had a really good week. Like, I've been on a holiday. I've just gone back to work. Well, like, where did you go on chilled. holiday? Well, I was just off of work. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so yeah. didn't do anything, but, you know, wasn't in work, so that's a win. Yeah. Um, but then I had, like, oh, I don't want to, like, I know this is a boys' pod, but I had I got a mega period. And I honestly, yesterday, was experiencing something that I think, not, I know you said not to talk about psychosis on here, but I felt like I was going mental. <laughs> no, you could, sorry, I, I like to clarify. I never said you couldn't. Yeah, before right, the right, sorry, like, you, sorry, mental health, keep it to yourself. No, okay, that's, <laughs> that's our policy on this pod, mate. That's our policy. Fine, just you said, keep it, up. it light. Yeah. <laughs> Push it down and, and deal with it later. <laughs> Suppress it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh, wow, mega period. Well, like, it, and that's not even whatever. don't care about that. Pain, no How pain. do you know it's uh, the difference between a, a regular and a mega? Tends to be if it's been, like, a bit of a, if you're on a backlog. If you're like, okay. where's, it, where's this bit? Where's this coming? Oh, you're okay. like, oh, here it is, and it's in full force. Oh, uh, mega. But just, like, I had to. I was back at work. I was, like, 
okay, the only job I have today is to ignore anything I think. Because, like, I went through, I swear to God, every emotion in the spectrum all day. It was just like, nope, nope, don't, don't, don't get into that. Don't get into that. (laughs) But just, like, the flip-flopping of it of, like, I should quit comedy. Uh, Actually, no, I'm the best comedian ever. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you're just, like, going through all of it. Like, it was just mad. So An emotional scale going up and down. I can't even imagine that. I feel like I'm at one sort of level the whole time. That must be so nice. No, but I feel like it's like it's not a good level, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I think if it was a good level, I'd be pretty happy. But I feel like I'm just at like uh, a one foot in front of the other level at all yeah, times. Yeah, I my have life. that like a lot. Of people, you know, people ask me before, or just normies go like, um, "Do you get nervous before gigs?" <laughs> and you have to say like, "No, not really anymore." So recently, I took some friends to Thorpe Park just to feel something. Uh, okay, that's so cool. I was like, I haven't felt adrenaline in so long, and yeah. it was so nice yeah. <laughs> to feel adrenaline. You should like, try stealing a yogurt. It's a crazy <laughs> rush. Well, you gotta, we all got to do what we got to do. Yeah. I'm going to go mug people. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, so what about your week? Well, yeah, we were gonna, I was going to go to, to Lucas. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to shoot, shoot your shot? This week? Yeah. Any fails? Um, not, nothing particularly. I'm seeing new venues for my night. Uh, and I went to one yesterday, and the the manager arranged to meet me there, and he just wasn't there. Aww. Which uh, I guess that's kind of a fail. Maybe he looked at your picture and was like, "This man's not this old guy, enough. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Can't, <laughs> he can't host a night. No way." Uh, I say he wasn't there. The bouncer wouldn't let me in. Oh. I didn't have my ID. That's oh, actually what? what I mean. No, not really. No. Oh my god, I'm so gullible. Did that feel like have you ever been stood up on a date? I actually haven't, but it did feel like that. Yeah, I know you've stood someone up on a date. <laughs> did you know that? <laughs> you, you told me about it. Did oh. I? What one? The candle. Wait, what? Can Wait, you Lucas, t- you stood up a girl on a date? Wait, no, can you remind me? No, he just cancelled last minute. Uh, well, that's, stand- that's the modern standing up, though, isn't it? Yeah, no, it was like a friend date, and then you at the last minute were like, oh, actually, my mum's there. Don't come and watch Oh, stand yeah, up. yeah, that was so- I felt so bad because yeah. I forgot for a second. Yeah. The, the, mod- yeah, the modern... Did, yeah. And now you've forgotten about it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> really I am the problem. Yeah. The, the modern stand-up, that is, like, an, 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 if it's under an hour before the date, that is bad. A text yeah. saying like, "Oh, I'm really sorry." That's the modern being stood up, I think, because like yeah. no one, no one just no shows. Yeah. Anymore. Yeah. That is so cold. Well, like everyone's got each other's numbers and whatever. It's like no one does that. So yeah. it's it's the modern version. Of it. Yeah, it's so disrespectful. What? So just no show? Like no, like an hour before to be like, "Oh, sorry, I've got to like really take care of my mental health. I'm really tired." Do you know what I mean? I'm like, screw your mental health. Y- you would have hated last week's episode when we asked people what's the worst excuse they've had for, for people not showing up, and yeah. it was it was it was stuff like my dog was sitting on my lap and I couldn't move him. <laughs> so, someone else was like, oh, we're too far. Someone like messaged just like, look, I'm really sorry, we're too far away. There were two tube stops away. Oh my <laughs> just God. like, nah, can't, can't make people it. People will be like that in London. Like my family that I'm living with at the moment are all like, oh, we live south in the room. They're like, try not to go north. Do you know what I mean? And like, I, wild. I know people that live north that are like, I don't like to go below the bridge, like kind of thing. I think there's more... <laughs> I would argue, as someone who grew up in North London, there is more north of the river than south of the river. <laughs> just saying that. Just saying. There See, is more. here we go. See what I mean? Just you can't talk to these people. There's more. It's more so, of yeah. your friends. Yeah. But people, and family. So. Yeah. But I'm used to, like, because we don't have a choice. Like, I've like my family have been like, just don't gig in North London. I'm like, I don't really have a choice in that. Mm. But, um, yeah, people won't. They won't go like to different areas. Okay. They won't go like if it's on a certain line, if it's super far. Being on the Victoria line. Yeah. That then I'm in. If you're in South London, but you're in Brixton or, yeah. or Stockwell, I'm in. Yeah, I quite enjoy like bombing through London. Yeah, if you're but in, if you're in like. Is that a bad way of saying it? Yeah, it's all right. I mean. <laughs> Don't say on the train. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm bombing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're all bombing right now. <laughs> Good bit of humour from about 2007. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you my worst week. And this is my, my week's always, you know, I don't sleep, whatever. I've got a kid. It's life. But um, uh, th- this week, I, I, got a, I got a nice message from a company asking about doing a sort of influencer collab. Oh God, I've had so many of these. All right. Calm down. Let's show off. Uh, and, uh, the bad <laughs> ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My well, spam's chocker. Yeah. And uh, this one was from, I won't say the name of the company, but let's just say a very prominent sex toy company. Okay, yeah. So I'm like, okay, they've checked me out. They obviously like know or listen to the pod. They know I'm in a You're on the mailing list yeah, already. Yeah, maybe. must have money. Yeah, maybe they're like, oh, all right, well, this is this guy, you know, maybe we can spice up. A bit offended they thought I might need to spice up my sex life, but that's fine. That's yeah. all right. Anyway, and I'm thinking, how much are you going to pay me? Okay, so very quickly, I get to the bottom of the fact that it's no money. There's, no, <laughs> there's zero money involved here. Yeah. But they are going to give me something 
and I'll show you all the photos. So they're like, right, your brand deal is you get an Orkton, right? And I'm like, but what is it? Right. So, so I'm like, oh, okay, so I'm like, you know, maybe it's something for me and your partner. Blah, blah, blah. No, yeah. it's very much a solo masturbation object. <laughs> And if you were wondering, it looks like a sort of torture device. That's... Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So I'm now at the point in my life where I am at solo masturbation sex toy um, influencing. That's yeah. what they sort of look at me and, and, and think that I would like this to... Gr- this guy screams solo masturbator. Solo, solo masturbator. I should have called that like the meat grinder or something. I mean, that doesn't, that, that doesn't look fun. No. Like, who's, 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 who's like, also like... How embarrassing! Imagine people finding that. They would obviously assume it would be like a massage toy or something. But like that, just you never, you know, if you were in a relationship yeah. and your partner was to witness you using that, <laughs> I don't think there's any coming back. No, like, no there's no coming back. It's yeah, exactly. I, I mean, it is, it is, it is a real, real depressing state of affairs when, when you want to be the face of the Orkton. That is terrible as well. Do you know what the thing about that is? Is like to advertise it, you have to use it. Yeah. So you've got to hold it up in a video, <laughs> being like, "I is that what have they been all over this." Hundred percent. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they wanted me to do like two stories and a and and so it's quite expensive. I looked. Yeah. It's like it's like I think it's like two hundred pounds. Yeah. So they are like, oh, it's you know. I found one for one hundred and eighty three euros. One hundred eighty three euros. Yeah, I found that Bag model it. for one hundred eighty three euros. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's spa- splash proof, silent. Spl- and you'd want it to be silent. <laughs> splash proof. Sil- why would the silence? Like, I mean, if you're using you that, you're going to need to be in a quiet anyone. room. Yeah, you're not going to be you're not going to be using that like <laughs> discreetly. I don't. Oh it's all God. in German. I can't read it. Well, there you go. <laughs> the thing about those is as well is I've been offered these things, and mm-hmm. then if you're going to get into that, you obviously want like a beginner's thing. You want like something pretty low key. Yeah, not torture chamber. But they want to advertise their new product, so they're like, "Here, you can have this, the Auction Five Thousand." <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to be in at the deep end. I'm going to get like razor burns or something, or like what are they called, cock holes? Yeah, hundred percent. It's got a spiky. Bit on it. Yeah, it's got a spiky, but it's pretty intense. No spikes, please. Mm-hmm. No. So yeah, the 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 Auction Five Thousand. I was mm-hmm. I was offered. Mm-hmm. Um, but as bid for worst week, you have been offered something, so that's pretty good. Yeah, but it's it's what the offer says. Yeah. You know, it's the offer says you are the face of solo masturbation. Yeah. <laughs> Which, as a man, as I think, like as a woman, that's mm-hmm. quite a, that's quite a, like a you know Lily Allen promoted a, yeah, a sex exactly. toy. That's like our thing. That's you know? cool. The that's reviews cool. are very positive of it. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Are they? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're all five star. Okay, yeah. Exquisite review. packaging, good check texture. Waiting for trial. What does that mean? Waiting for a trial. No, Worth surely you can't send it back. You can't send it. Yeah, back. I don't think they've. You put can, it. Imagine you, you can. put it on loan. You can. Well, they're quite, this back. one's two hundred and seventy-three dollars. So that, they're really expensive. Yeah, they're expensive. You should say yes. It sounds amazing. I'm not. It comes with a cleaning spray. A convenient odor-free cleaning spray. Brilliant. The thing is, is what if you get it and you love it and it changes your life then you're you like that emotional guy. bond to it well then yeah exactly you don't want to be you don't want to be the fleshlight auction guy that's just not a good I mean, guy to you be. can't be the fleshlight guy there's already one on the circuit <laughs> <laughs> there's more than one there's definitely you think comedians yeah. there's an alarming amount of those yeah there's been some recruits yeah there's been some big recruits <laughs> you can be the auction guy the au- <laughs> <laughs> oh, what no. would i even do i was thinking like what would i even do as an advert for the yeah, auction yeah exactly would you just be like washable love it can't <laughs> get enough would you do a sincere like shopping channel just like you know different levels different features you know put it on go 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 you have to yeah be like i'm a guy on the go <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. sometimes you just don't have enough time to get it on with your partner so this is a sign that you need to feature your partner more in your video yeah <laughs> just get her face out there a bit i'm the awesome man yeah so anyway We'll see. We uh, I said no to the auction, but potentially they might the the company might sponsor this podcast. So we'll see. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. It's so uh, frustrating when you're just like, no, I want the money. Oh, 100 percent. Although I had recently, I did some videos for Spare Room, and they were paying me, but I also was flat hunting at the time, <laughs> and I could not get a room. And I wanted to. I eventually was just like, look, if you do some more videos, I don't need money. Just hook me up with a room, yeah. please, <laughs> please. It's more valuable to me at this point. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Well, that was worst week. Um, who's gonna win? I mean, you went an attack and that's probably worse than being the yeah. face of solo masturbation you couldn't get into a bar um all right i'm gonna give it to you for witnessing an attack thanks <laughs> <laughs> it was like fresh it was today so you might read about it tomorrow being like one of those terrible news ads yeah stabbed yeah. stabbing and, and there's like... just a picture of you in the background like <laughs> you could, like you know youtube thumbnail yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what you need you to won't be, believe there what you go. i saw exactly. on the bus today yeah. <laughs> yeah. a yeah. knifing oh, yeah. <laughs>
And my, my aunt also worked in an office, like, just opposite it. So I was there, she was there, the attack was going on in the middle. You could make a documentary at this point. You yeah. Know? You but, could. Yeah, she said she saw the guy's earlobe on the floor. Oh, nice. Oh, that was oh disgusting. My yeah, so, but all worth it to win worst week. All worth it to win worst week. Well, <laughs> yeah, a worthy winner, I would say. Um, what else has been going on in the world, ladies and gentlemen? Um, did everyone see the Frank Ocean stuff? Yeah, yeah but I, I really it. couldn't make any sense of what happened. It just wasn't good. <laughs> And like, that's fair enough. <laughs> Loads of artists do that. Yeah, yeah, mm. but like... It was really uh, late. The Patreon backers will know because we're speaking about this. Uh-huh. The argument with Frank Ocean, arguably the best music producer in, in the world, an artist, okay. but equally in the same breath, worst live performer. Okay. Yeah. Terrible. Never been good. No one has ever seen him and been like, that was a cracking show. Everyone's just been like, it was a nightmare. Really? Yeah. yeah. He's a lot like Bob... I don't know if you've ever seen Bob Dylan live. I've seen Bob Dylan He's live! He's so bad, isn't he? I've seen him live. He's terrible. <laughs> I saw bad. him at like... Is it called like uh, I was like this really middle class festival my like parents took me to when okay. I was like, <laughs> obviously, yeah. Like, obviously and yeah so we it was like Damien Rice was on the floor and he was banging yeah and then Bob Dylan came out and I was like who the hell is this guy I'm not excited at all my dad was like it's gonna it's a it's a big deal to a lot of dads yeah <laughs> and then basically they had screens up so you could see their faces and he made them cut the screen and he was like performing and it was so bad it was like he was scatting it was like he kept going Scooby Dooby Doo, Scooby Dooby Doo. Why is he saying Scooby Dooby Doo? He's he's he just watched it last night. Yeah, (laughs) it's on the mind. So bad. But Bob Dylan is notorious for doing a lot of what Frank Ocean did, which was like so. Bob Dylan has hits like a Rolling Stone, Hurricane, you know the bangers. Okay, Mm -hmm. he's notorious for rearranging the song so you have no idea you're listening to Like a Rolling Stone until he literally goes <laughs> like a rolling stone like, it's like you're like what's happening and Frank Ocean did exactly that he came out and he had re like organised and rejigged and like basically remixed all of his songs so no one actually knew kind of really what the song was also he was meant to have an. They made he made for the production crew build him an ice ring in the desert for the stage and then two hours before he the went concert, no ice ring yeah, yeah two hours before the concert he was like no Get rid of it. Get it out. Fuck that. Yeah. Don't want it, mate. Didn't yeah. he make the security guys dance as well? Yeah, no, there was a security. There was a 10 minute DJ interlude in a set. Like halfway through, he just got a DJ to DJ dance music for 10 minutes. Oh my God. So yeah. And, and then he also, um, yeah, he, he didn't even, he also was not even mining. He just played two of his songs and yeah. he wasn't singing. Yeah. So he just played it out. It's kind of a flex. Yeah. Can't, yeah. Like I a mean, Cheryl Cole move. But you know, the, the flex. <laughs> Cheryl Cole. <laughs> she never sings. <laughs> You can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't parallel Frank Ocean. And I'm Ocean, calling it out. The greatest musical artist of all time, and Cheryl Cole. I was, I was. Three words is a banger, Tom. I'll yeah. have you know. I, I was yeah. like, the only thing I ever think remember about Cheryl Cole is I remember when she did that dance on the X Factor, and everyone was like, "It's legit." I rewatched that. I saw that on TikTok about last year. Yeah. And it was not good. Wait, what well, the fight for this love? Yeah. One. Yeah. yeah. The dancing is fine. I would not even find. Honestly, if you rewatch that with yeah. like adult eyes, you're like, what the fuck is this? Do you know what I went back and watched? It's like, do you remember Cher Lloyd? Oh, oh I love Cher Lloyd. Do you remember Cher Lloyd and everyone was Fucking like, oh my God, she's like white, but she's rapping. It's Swagger. incredible. Yeah. And then you go back Swagger and Swagger Jagger. <laughs> there was Cher, Cher Lloyd, June. it's an example there of There was why. one they sung like, um, they did a Coldplay song and she went, I hear Jerusalem. Oh yeah. The bells bell are ringing. Ring 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 yeah. <laughs> That's a really good impression. Yeah. <laughs> I do all of those montages if they ever come up on TikTok they're so awful and they, they're, awful. It's, they're awful because there's always like maybe three good singers and then obviously there's just like yeah. the nutcases that they've got they've got Wagner or yeah. like oh. Chico just yeah. coming in and. but also I remember being a kid and being like why would anybody over 25 try and be a singer <laughs> yeah, they yeah, should yeah. just kill themselves they're, yeah. they're so old yeah. and now I'm like in the over 25s cap you'll be the over 10 yeah fuck so. Just gotta stay, stay cool. But a lot of the time, the over twenty fives what won. Yeah. I'm, t- I'm talking. Um, Matt Cardle. Matt, Matt Cardle. Cardle. Yeah. Wonder what he's up to. Well, I actually had some insight on Matt Cardle because he was friends with a comedian on the circuit. <laughs> yeah, no oh yeah. my god. He went, he went absolutely wild and. Really? Yeah. 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 Just partied really hard. Apparently. Good for him. Well, do you remember he won and then um, Harry Styles whispered to him and he went, "You're gonna get so much pussy now." Yeah. <laughs> Well, Harry Styles said Yeah, that. and he, he like covered his mouth the wrong way. I think. <laughs> Before he'd had that oh, media training. Classic, Why right. is Harry Styles like breaking up families? I don't. You're so true. Why is he obsessed with that? Mm. I don't know. I, okay, I've got a theory. Yeah. Okay, my theory is obviously it's Harry he Styles. He killed Caroline Flack. No. No. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That'll be the clip. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, I would say, right, yeah, he can date anyone in the world he wishes, right? So it's more of a thrill for him yeah. to sort of, you know, she really likes me if I break up her whole family. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Or like older women, a bit more unattainable. 
I would say more attainable. Like, I don't know, you're Harry Styles. Like, yeah, I suppose. But then it's just a little bit, you know, they're like, what? Why, why is this young man coming after me? What the hell? Yeah, we're going to get so many messages about talking about Harry Styles. But really? People, what, you, what, like people, slating him? I would say people, people are big like fans. People, oh, oh, really? Oh, do you uh, think? Oh, I don't know. Okay. I, I actually, I'm starting to not like, I don't know. I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm people are going the other way. I'm starting to. I feel like, ugh. You know, I'm what? sure he's a lovely chap. Why are you breaking up all the all these all these homes? Yeah, 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 yeah. And oh, who's he seeing now? He's seeing Emily, Emily Ratajkowski, Ratajkowski now, who does have a child, but they were separated okay. before. Were they? Yeah, her like guy cheated her husband or whatever, and everyone was like, "Oh my god, if Emily Ratajkowski is getting cheated on, no. there's no yeah. hope for any of us." Yeah, I'd, I'd I'd agree with that actually. Yeah, it's quite. It's, it's but what about the personality? Hmm? Right, guys, uh, should we go on to our next section? Yeah, what's the next section? The next section is Agony Uncle, but not in a weird way. <laughs> right, we're going to solve solve some of the nation's problems. Okay. And actually, abroad. Yeah, so, okay. So, basically, my cousin, blank, and I were kind of close. She was a couple of years older than me. Like, we'd hang out and talk and have sleepovers, that sort of thing. And then I got home and I got a call from my dad to go and have a chat. He said, there's something I've got to tell you. And then he went on to explain to me <laughs> that she wasn't my cousin at all, <laughs> right? Uh, she wasn't even related, not biologically. Uh, and her dad wasn't actually her dad. And it turned out that while she'd been living with my aunt and uncle, right? Not her, not her dad. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, she had used his credit card and stolen £10,000 worth of stuff, <laughs> including handbags and a new phone. Money which my aunt and uncle had been saving to renovate their house. <laughs> this is like me when witnessing the attack. You've just got to let it ride itself out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait. So did, did, did it say if the girl robbed all this stuff before or after she found out that she wasn't related to them? Um, no, it doesn't actually say that. But I, I, I think they've known for quite a while that she was not related to okay. them. Okay. And she stole all their stuff. Pretty, I, I understand it. It's quite an intense thing to go through to be told that's not your cousin. Yeah. You don't even. You're not related to that person. Which uh-huh. is, you can still have a relationship, but then to also find out she'd been stealing uh-huh. is that's quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Would you confront her? Okay. Maybe I'll confront her. Well, is she still in the country? Where's she gone? <laughs> she's still around. She's still around. <laughs> yeah, she's still around. Is she still living in the same? I place? think she's moved out now. She's moved. Okay. She's good. moved oh, out. Good for her. That's that's cool. Um. Yeah, I get. I'm not a very confrontational person. You confront her? I maybe send a text. You send a text. <laughs> <laughs> I, send, I send a voice note just so there was nothing lost in translation. Yeah. Yeah. To be clear, yeah. stealing from Auntie Duncan and <laughs> Auntie Duncan, <laughs> Uncle Duncan and Auntie Mary, that was a bad thing to do. That's what I'd say. I'd say no. Is I'd that say, what they were called? No. But <laughs> yeah, obviously it's very bad. Um, so it's money and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's really bad. Yeah, she stole, t- stole the credit card. Yeah. And used t- 10 grand as a lot of stuff to nick. Yeah. They should take it to court. She, really? You go to police? Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah, why not? But she's just found out she's not related. I mean, that's quite a lot. That's even worse then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Stealing from your family is kind of like carte blanche. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play devil advocate. <laughs> okay. I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Okay? No, she's just a random. You've just found out that you're not related to any of these people. Uh-huh. Okay. And then you go a bit mad and you steal some shit. Okay. Okay. And then and now they're like, right, you're going to jail. Yeah. I think that sounds really fair. Really? Yeah. Maybe Wait. she's taking her cut from what she would have got from the will. Oh, plot twist. But then I also think I'm like, okay, well, she's not related. She's related to the mum, right? She's not in the picture. Uh, so it's just she just lives with the dad. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's done her a favor then of raising her when he's not even. They're not even related. I'd be like, oh God, like I'm sorry for so much trouble. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not you didn't even have any like vested interest in this. I know, but he only, I think the dad also only found out. They've recently. only just yeah. found out, yeah. This is all quite a recent thing. Yeah, so that's terrible. I think that's That's quite story. it's quite bad. Yeah, you're right. But to be raised by someone yeah. who's done obviously spent a lot of money on you raising you seems like they'd have a happy home. That's I a don't. weird retaliation to be like, How dare you I'm have gonna nick all your yeah. shit. Because he's only just found out as well. Yeah. What about him? Do I sound like such a what, the uncle? mum? What, yeah. a, what about him? How's, has anyone checked on the man? <laughs> Is he okay? Uh, I know this is going to sound controversial, but I just let this one go. Let it go. Let it go. But how is she entitled to all that stuff? You just got to go like, look, you've been through a lot. I've been through a lot. Yeah. Let's cut ties. Yeah. 
Well, I guess she's kind of like, well, what if they kick me out now? I've got to bundle all the stuff and resources I can get together and go make a new life for myself. She bought mainly handbags and stuff as well. You need handbags in life. <laughs> <laughs> mm. She's got stuff to put in them. Like handbags, money. handbags, and new clothes yeah. and new phones, yeah. New phones? Phones. Well, you've got to have multiple phones these days. People are stealing them. People, yeah. yeah. Well, muggers. You've got to be aware. They've got to be muggers. That's terrible. So you say, fuck you. You send her a voice note. This is you, Freya. You're going, okay. Well, listen, I've heard you've been bloody robbing. No, and yeah. I want, and you're dead to me. I know. Good night. I'm, no, I'm not. Is that what you do? No. And I'm of the, I'm a Gen Z. So I, I've been thinking lately, like, Gen Z know how to apologize. And not that you'd be apologizing, but I do the whole spiel of like, so obviously I could never understand things from your point of view. Like, <laughs> I will never understand, you know, where you are in your shoes. But I'm just imagining and I understand that it might have felt. No, I'm sure that it was very difficult for you. Like, I had to go through all of that. But then basically... And she replies, shut up, bitch. I don't know you. Okay, well, then I'd be like, I'm calling the police. Okay, fair. Fair, fair. Okay. I just think, like, let's outsource that. Then a judge can decide if it's wrong or so right. So you're going, still going down the, the police route. Would you not try? Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little, like, a little tease. Well, yeah. No, I'm I, a little snitch. See, I would, I would, I would go the route of trying to maybe get the stuff back. Oh, really? Yeah. That's dangerous. Yeah, just be like, look, return some of the goods. And yeah. we'll call it quits. Yeah, maybe they could do a little negotiation. Be like, what's the cost of a father's love? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Two iPhones. <laughs> yeah. And a handbag. Yeah. Um, and we're good. You That's keep it. that. We want to do our decking. Come on. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Lucas, what would you do? Um, maybe hire a private detective. Yeah. See what she's about. Yeah. See what she's doing with the money. Mm-hmm. Multiple if phones. She's could be a drug dealer. Didn't even yeah, throw that yeah, in Yeah, yeah, she could be. Yeah, maybe maybe if she, st- if she started a good new life, then I'd leave her alone. But if she's she's continued down a life of crime and stealing... Yeah. Step in. Step in. You go, look, As I, know, I know the thrill. Yeah. I know the rush <laughs> you get. And I get it. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We need to talk about this. I meant more as her family. Okay. Ex-family. Ex-family. You're like, step turn in. to petty crime. Petty for loose. <laughs> oh, that's good. There that's we good. go. Yogurt. I'm trying to think what I would do if I found out I wasn't related to <laughs> my family. <good>. Yeah. <laughs> so, sorry, I was trying to think. Well, yep. I think, yeah, people in those scenarios, they do really freak out. And you do weird stuff when, yeah. like something crazy like that happens to you who knows how you'd react steal <laughs> steal and rob yeah fair enough yeah yeah there's no good there's no good there's no good uh, just like i'm just a klepto yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry i'm not perfect <laughs> i'm out okay well i i, I reckon we've, we've given a few options there confront yeah, yeah i feel like we confront could, yeah. say give me your shit back mm-hmm. compromise or, or police time police time it's a good place to be as well as a cousin. You're not right in the in, in the, the center of it. Yeah, you're not in the mix. And she has a great story to tell. Really, this girl's done her bit of a favor. Yeah, mm. she'll start a podcast. She'll be all right. Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right, solved. Solved. Solved a Monday. Done. Right, next one. Dear Agony Uncles, here is my life drama. Hello, my life drama. In my group of friends, one has been really nasty to the other, which puts me off the bad one. But... I've been sworn to secrecy. The nice one doesn't want to rock the boat any further. So I can't end the friendship without sounding unfair as on the surface she has done nothing wrong. What do I do? Oh my God. I miss high school. Truly. <laughs> Bloody hell. That was from a 40 year old man. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's being really nasty. Yeah. And I'm really not here for it. I just think if, well, fine. If the if the what should we call the bad one and the nice one? Just the bad one, the nice one. If the if the nice one doesn't want help, then they don't need to have it. If they're well, like, she, I want to get bullied in secret, and I've told you about it for some reason. But okay, she's done something horrific to her. She's done something awful. She slept with her boyfriend or something terrible. Yeah, and, but you, the, and you've just got to sit there and be like, well. who? Wait, who swore who to secrecy? So the nice one swore and, the friend. Yeah. The 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 intermediate friend. Yeah. To to secrecy. Don't say anything to the bad one. Okay. But why? Because, I don't know, they want to keep it, they don't want to rock the boat. She said she didn't want to mm. rock the boat. She wants to keep the boat not rocked. Well, then don't rock the boat. Just let her live with the the bullying she's receiving. I can, really? Well, it's just what but she how wants. would you feel about hanging around with someone who's a bully? I think that's the yeah. problem. Oh, like, I they've see. got to keep the bad thank person you. as okay, a friendship group. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe she can just do kind of like lots of passag things over time. You know, like like certain like distancing away. Yeah. Have you ever um like phased someone out? I haven't. But you know when like people. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounded sounds... so untrue. I haven't ever. I haven't. I haven't ever. 
No, but like you just start like you know they, they people do it. They do it in work scenarios. Like they mm. just it's it's a professional mm. thing that yeah, happens yeah, yeah. in companies. They just phase someone out. They just start making them because they don't want all the all the aggro of like firing someone. So they just like slowly start to make them feel uncomfortable at the company. Oh. Yeah, like just be really shirty with them, not be friendly, not invite them to stuff. But they, that's I can't, fucked up. But that's they do it in professional environments. Psychological. How crazy is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psychological. Just ice yeah. them out. Yeah. yeah. Would you have, so you would ice out this friend? I guess that's all she can do. Like, because mm. you can't you, you can't fight someone else's battles for them. This sharp, like nice friend doesn't want intervention. Okay, but what, what if the bad friend's just like, why are you icing me out? What, what's the deal? <laughs> You're not speaking to me. You didn't invite me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make the, something the up. The band yeah, camp or whatever we're going yeah. on. The band camp. I don't even know. <laughs> Sorry, that was just, in a, that was just a, an observation. <laughs> They're all yeah. flautists, I can tell. Yeah. yeah. They're always having this kind of drama. What, what, where, you know, what's, what's the deal? Yeah, you've got to make something up. Yeah. 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 You've got to reason for, you got to have reasoning for not wanting to be near her. Maybe yeah. you could, maybe you could spread a room that she smells. Yeah. yeah, yeah and that's yeah. why you don't want her around. They are yeah. 13, so that is a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Huge. Yeah, you just got to lean and try to be like, you stink. And I can't be around <laughs> you. Yeah. I'm really sorry. Absolutely honk. You could say you would disagree with her political beliefs. Something, <laughs> you know? What if she's really, like, nice? <laughs> what? What if she's really politically yeah, you just, well Look, if you want to keep the boat non-rocks, you just got to yeah. go, look, I'm a Nazi, deal with it. Then I don't think the immigration boats should be rocks yeah. or something like that. Yeah. yeah that's or like maybe you do <laughs> think they should. I don't know, whatever. you gotta be, you got to you gotta get weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make, make people we've had this a lot mm. with in breakups people don't want to break up with their partner so they make themselves so unappealing <laughs> that their partner has no option yeah do you know when you get to the point when you're like you're just trying to think of anything to mm. break up with them so you're just like do you know what that's the final straw like I can't believe that your alarm went off and you didn't turn mm. it off like that kind of thing <laughs> yeah yeah definitely had that argument okay <laughs> You've got too many alarms in the morning. <laughs> too many alarms. Yeah, I've been told that. That's what, oh, you've got the alarms. It's you, you, you're the alarm machine. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, just when you're desperate to cut someone out, you're just like, do you know what? I actually cannot with this anymore. They're like, I'll change, I'll change. No, no, no. It's too late. It's too late. The alarms, that's it. That's the final straw. Yeah, it's I've had too enough. much. Yeah. And you use too many straws. Think of a turtle. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've had, we've had, uh, yeah, make, make yourself really really dirty the only other the only other friendship group one that we had was um the listeners will know this we had a girl who's well new, a, a relatively new friend but a very good friend um bought her boyfriend around for the first time and uh yeah they dated two years prior oh yeah i think i saw that yeah yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Grim. in the end she uh she did tell she fessed up you know what they say that you should do in that scenario if you ever encounter someone that's dated someone already that you're dating currently mm. you should say give me the dirt Especially if you're new with that person, because they have they have the insight to be like, they can especially if it's been a while, they can objectively be like, yeah, he's a really nice guy, but this or like they can just tell you, like some people won't be. Okay, okay but what if they're it. a devious, awful person and they just tell you a lie? Yeah, I have had that too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it helps. Was it the alarms? They tell yeah. about your alarms. If someone comes to me and they've like, I've got information, I'm like, I'm not gonna go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'll hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Then I'll decide. Right, and I'll decide. But you sure maybe it'll mm. pollute your mind, and then you'll always be looking for that small thing, and may never come. Yeah, yeah. Or you might force the issue. That's what I would. I would like to go in clean slate. A really? lot to my detriment. A lot of the time. I think early days, you've got to be so open to anything, anything going slightly wrong. You've just got to like store it because that's the only time you can be objective. Like you give it a month or two, I'm like, Lala, I'm in love with you. I like, I no, will, really? I will be with you through thick oh, and thin. We are very off. We really? are first first three months. So you at know. the beginning, I'm ruthless. So at the beginning, I'm yeah. like, I'm all in, and then yeah. actually, that's actually about six months down the line. Yeah, I'm someone, like, I'm finding out your flaws. Yeah. Unfortunately for me, I already had a child, so <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, that's that's uh, yeah. yeah. So I, I'm like ruthless at the beginning. If you make it to like the three month point, then. You're golden. Okay, so you've got to break you down. Yeah, yeah, those. Yeah. Sorry, break you down to horrible terminology right there. That's not good. <laughs> you've got you to gotta show what an optimum partner you would be in those yeah, first three yeah, months. Yeah, yeah, Because that's the only time when you can actually, like, go, ah, he's not nice. Okay. So, and then dip. So, like, first, first, like, few dates, it's just you're just trying to pull apart their life. You... Yeah, or I'm just, like, very wary. I'm just, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, any small red flag, you're out. Yeah, yeah. And I will be, like, very cold and just be like, I'm not interested in that. Really? Yeah. Which is why, like, What's when the smallest red flag you've ever dipped from, from a date for a person? <laughs> oh, smallest one. I don't know. Like, literally, if they're like, I'm not, like, if I'm a morning person, I'd be like, okay, this is never going to happen. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? 
I'm a mo- just the morning. That's it. Yeah, something like that. That's I half the day. I couldn't be. I'd like honestly, I'm afraid to ever be single again because I'm just. I, I like myself too much now. I get the ick too too quickly. I'm just okay. like, eh, no, ew. Don't want you. No, no. no, can't do it. Yeah. So yeah, okay, that's interesting. It's interesting that it's like uh, that that way round because I feel like as someone who's yeah all in at the beginning and then and then mm. has to then backpedal yeah. and be like, oh okay, maybe that's terrible and I shouldn't be into yeah, that. Yeah, but it's so hard to do that. I just try and delay the honeymoon period like a little bit. Yeah, I'm very good at just being like, who's a strange man taking me to dinner? Ugh, because I just know too much about men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like it's, it's very observant you know they enough. can show up in a nice outfit but at the end of the day I'm still like you're just a man <laughs> you're just, you're just you've been texting on the toilet before this I know do you, you know what I mean that's quite a good way of looking at I'm just a, he's just you're a man ju- he's just a man what if it's Harry Styles is he still a man <laughs> he's just a man what's wrong with texting on the toilet <laughs> not other people but just are you do, do you object to who they're texting or the fact that it's on the toilet the fact that it's on the toilet what's wrong with that everyone texts on the toilet I'm a that's busy insane. man dirty what, what places you don't what? use Sorry, you don't use your phone on the toilet. No. What? I what? do. I do take my phone into the loo because I'm claustrophobic and I worry. I, and I worry I'm gonna get stuck in there. <laughs> but I'll like set it down. Does your bathroom not have windows? <laughs> no, but it has locks on the door, and I'm worried that the lock is gonna uh, okay. you could break. Climb out the window. Yeah, but not. Also, all... it's 2023. Everyone uses their phone on the toilet. Okay. You fine. don't have the attention. Sp- I don't have the attention span to finish. The toilet I don't want to be phone. alone with my own thoughts. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. No, thank you. I don't oh. know how cavemen did it. It's no. crazy. I don't you know, know how they say how dirty phones are. They're the really dirty. They're ones. like worse than a toilet seat. Yeah. So just don't lick your phone. Fine. Yeah. Who licks it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this they... is where Lucas pipes up like, "Oh, I lick my phone." All <laughs> Delicious. The time. <laughs> <laughs> dirty phone. Cool. All right. Uh, we got one more. One more fail. I think. I think we sort of solved the 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 friend. Yeah. Beef. It's like fine. Just do ice, what the nice one ice. wants, but then ice out the bad one for your own like peace of mind. Yeah. Slow ice. Okay. Cool. Um, please, if they if you if you do take our advice, ladies and gentlemen, please do write in and tell us how it goes. Okay. That's always very interesting. I thought you were going to say we're not like liable for anything. I mean <laughs> that too. Yeah. A lot of the Icing time we give terrible well. advice. <laughs> 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 But yeah, cool. All right, last one. This is just very quick. Um, and cost of living, everything is way too expensive. What the hell do I do? Oh my god. Well, they need to give some background on their situation. Is this Martin Lewis? There's brackets. Brackets. <laughs> He's finally run out of tips. They did say like brackets, food, rent, etc. Okay, so yeah. you know, li- living in London. Yeah. As well. I have been like on the other side of this because, and like this sounds <laughs> terrible. What do you mean? <laughs> So I had I to work for EDS. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> I made some very good investments early doors. Okay. No. Oh, yeah. No, I've been staying with family, like, purely by happenstance, so I haven't felt the full... Happenstance? Because I was living in a terrible flat and there was an incident of violence and I, I had to flee. I just like the word happenstance. That's a great happenstance. word. Happenstance. There happenstance. we go. Okay. She's a grammar school girl. Mm. Uh, so I was living in this terrible flat where there was an incident of violence and I had to like chuck myself out really quickly. Wait, so, so one of your, your flatmates threw down? No, so like she had a boy round and then she kicked him out and then she cha- and then he like broke down her door to get his phone back and then he ran out. She chased after him, fell down the stairs, broke her leg. So it's just very dramatic. I wasn't there when it happened. Mm. This is renting in London, people. Okay. So I had to go and move with the family for a while. It's been crazy. Haven't been able to find anywhere. But whilst I've been there, been like very cheap rent, that kind of thing. So I haven't felt the force of the cost of living crisis. So now I'm about to move out and I'm about to like experience it again properly. Like paying rent again, that kind of stuff. Being being in the real world. Yeah. yeah. But what I can say is what I've learned from like not experiencing that is like, I've spent my money. This is terribly unrelatable, but I've spent my money badly. It's not made me happier. Okay. What have you spent on? <laughs> just like absolute crap. Anything that goes viral on TikTok, I'm like, yeah, there we go. I'll get that. It's what, like an orchid tan? Like, where are you going? Yeah, like an orchid <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. Just like making bad choices, just like impulse buying and stuff like That's the thing you miss out on, like when you don't have any money on your skin. It's like just being able to buy anything like yeah. on a whim. But all I'll say is it hasn't, like, it's been bad. Like, I, re- I, I prefer when I have been, like, a bit more up against it. And then you have to, like, actually think about what you're going to, you have to budget, that kind of thing. I'm, this sounds so unrelatable. Okay. But I'm looking forward to getting back, back into, into budget. Back into <laughs> <laughs> 
I just can't wait to be I relatable you, again. Yeah. Guys, I'm really not poor right now, so <laughs> this would can't be can't wait great. to be poor again. This is going to be good. I'm going to be so happy. I'm going to be like the rest of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to see you go out. I'm going to be down at your level. It's going to be good. Yeah. But in general, like cost of living, like, do you have any tips? Uh, cost of living shit. What would I say? Have I... Yeah, sh- so started doing all, basically all our shopping at no- Sainsbury's is off the cards now. Back yeah. Lidl. F- yeah. Through and through Lidl. Yeah. Up. Very good. Mm-hmm. Not as, as cheap as it used to be. Even even Lidl's gone up, so you know things are getting yeah. wild. If you mm-hmm. go Lidl, and if you are going to go to Lidl, pro tip, try and go on like a Tuesday afternoon. Uh-huh. It's quiet. Oh, can... it's Bedlam on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's, 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 it's a war in there. there it's, no an, it's like the apocalypse has started. Ugh. Yeah, little on the Holloway Road. <laughs> Shout out, but that's <laughs> that's that chaos. Yeah. Um, uh, what else have I got? Do you know so what is so expensive? Has the price of the tube gone up, or like the bus? No, or the trains have gone up definitely. Yeah, yeah I mean trains are always up. It's also, and I have this problem. I think that the buses and the tube are free. <laughs> yeah. I really do. Like yeah. psychologically, I when I tap my card, do you jump the stalls? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it depends what stalls they are. You got different taxes for different stalls, but yeah. <laughs> you, crawl, you crawl under like a crawl. snake. Some of them you can't crawl under. Some of them you got to hop. Sometimes you can just barge security, through them. Security, catch him crawling under like a prophetic worm. It's like circuit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He deserves it. <laughs> I'm very skinny, so I can just like yeah, slip slide through quite easily. Yeah. yeah, but I just tap it and I think it's free, and then at the end of the day, I get this thing being like, oh, eight pound ten on the tube. I'm like, where does that come from? Yeah. Wait, I'll tell you what's more of an in issue. London, and I don't want to show off about having a kid. Whatever, well, I've got a kid, but. There's no one's having kids anymore because everything's expensive. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. but the issue with no one having a kid is like the per- percentage of young people who work in care work is yeah. so high. So there's going to be no one to look after yeah. old people, mm-hmm. and which also, means much. I think we're going like Sweden euthanasia to kind of come in. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if that we, well, we if we increase that definitely. But do you know what else is going to be a new thing? So everyone I know that wants to have kids is like, I'll do one. So that yeah. means everyone's going to be a single child. Yeah. Who were the worst, obviously. Mm, well. But what that might mean. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> but what that might mean is it might foster community because yeah. obviously your kid can't be a loner. So you've got to like do more play dates, hang out, do more favors for other families. Not, not to get into the boring economics of it, but if everyone only has one kid, mm-hmm. very, very quickly within the space of four years, half the primary schools are closing. Yeah. So, and that's like all those jobs gone. And uh-huh. then like in 10 years, you've got like, way more issues so like it builds very fast and there'll be a think. gender imbalance won't there because it's e- more people have girls don't they i think it's more I, common to have girls yeah i think it's like one percent yeah 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 it's like yeah. one it's, it's, it will it's like one percent but when you bring it down and and people can only have one kid well i don't think we're gonna go like china like i must Babies have a boy are ending yeah. up in the river that's <laughs> yeah, what yeah. i'm saying that's that's like. i don't think it's gonna be like i've only got a girl get rid yeah but if there's only a slight gender imbalance because there's loads because people are having multiple kids imagine if you're only having one it will be more prominent I don't. I don't know if people are maths. getting rid of it. I think the math is mathing, guys. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know about that. I would say that the gender imbalance won't be the issue. It would just be the lack of yeah. humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, to, to do stuff will be very quickly become a, a big, big problem. It's already yeah. a problem in Japan. They've had to close, like, um, like, a third of primary schools. Okay. And that's just, like, showing where we're going. Mm-hmm. Um, so our advice for the cost of living crisis is have, have children. Two kids. And Get loads. Two kids, children. at least. Get loads. Actually, don't. There's, there's something for you. Uh, don't have a kid because yeah. I, I've spoken about it a lot. Childcare is unbelievably expensive. Yeah. It's Ninety quid a day. Yeah. Nin- nin- and I'm not even in a good nursery. Mm. I've just got a lady. Just, just a lady. Just a lady, and I drop them off at a flat, and I hope it goes well. And are there yeah. many kids there? Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. Well, I've spoken about this before. Mm. I look around nurseries, mm-hmm. right? I looked at high end. Yeah. High end nurse. That's 125 quid a day. Yeah. Uh, that's and it was beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking Montessori. nap area. In the nap area, there was a woman just reading books to all of the ch- sleeping children. Yeah, there is. There's well, they're sleeping. That's it. Yeah, keep on sleeping. Play, play, <laughs> play areas. Read when they're awake. Well, well, she was getting them to sleep. Play areas. I am like beds. Just all the food, organic, handmade deliciousness. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> handmade was a robot made. <laughs> <laughs> all these were robots. Well, made. you say that, <laughs> but wait, wait. Okay, so then. <laughs> Then I went to see my childminder and she was like the middle option. I was like, yeah. seemed all right. Mm-hmm. Then I saw the budget option and it was a place called Lil K. And I'm not <laughs> winding you up. When I went into the office, I swear to God, the lady who was in charge, she'd just finished having a cigarette out the window. I can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> and oh she was- God. She, At least vape. Yeah. I'm Please. Sure, uh, she seemed like a lovely lady, but she was just like, hello, welcome to Lil Oons. I love them all like my own. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then <laughs> we looked around it and there was like, it was like, there's a lot, sort of like prison actually. There was like a sort of TV and like a cage on the wall. <laughs> we were like, 
and alarming amount of children watching it. Um, and then the nap area, I said, is there a nap area? And she was like, no, just stop sleep with a drop. <laughs> They drop. Yeah, it was cheap though. So yeah, yeah. my option would be to do what you're doing. It's like I just want to buy, a, like, hopefully end up in a place where we can accommodate my mum. As so I'm going to make her sell her house Mate, and just move her in. We work. I worked out as a childminder. Let's say you're taking ninety quid a day and you've got four kids. You yeah. do the math on that. You're making like eighty grand a year being yeah. a childminder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what, but don't tell my mum that because she could make money when I just want her to look after my kids. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, you get a, chuck a couple more in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you some get, brandos. Like, you get mates' rights at least. I make her do it for free. Oh. <laughs> She's living in my house oh, that I don't own yet. Um, my uh, yeah, my mum and dad won't look after There's too many grandkids. There's a fifth grandkid, so um, if they look after one, just pol- mine politics. would be the first, the first and then only, because uh, my brother's had a vasectomy. So what? Lucky Freya. Your, your brother had a vasectomy. He had How a vasectomy. Old How old is he? Twenty-seven. What? He really doesn't want kids. He didn't I mean, like Reddit forums about it. He doesn't want them. That's pretty hardcore. Yeah. To get a vasectomy at 27. Yeah. I mean, you can get a ver- reverse vasectomy. Yeah, Only you can. for two years. Yeah. The, but the, really? really? I think something like that, yeah. Really? Then, then, it's, it's, then it's all gone. Then the gates are shut forever. There's a shelf on it. <laughs> Wait, so your brother had a vasectomy? Like that's milk. pretty wild. That's <laughs> yeah. Well, he's got a girlfriend. And she doesn't want to have kids. And it's just uh, like, it's, you know, I think it's really progressive, you know, because Did he men freeze? Put a, did he freeze? <laughs> He's freezing his sperm. Yeah, he just, just in case. case. Yeah. No, no. He's he's a hundred percent sure. But I think it's nice because a lot of the time, like men put the um, what is it called, the fertility stuff on women, and we have to take stuff yeah. and like all mm. these kind of things. So for him to just be like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. If you yeah. take anything away from this podcast, ladies and gentlemen, get a vasectomy. Snip, snip. Yeah. Vasectomy yeah. time. Super feminist. Yeah. Very. <laughs> 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 Fair enough. Okay, Freya. Uh, just before we go, uh, is there is there a fail of your life that you would like to share? Okay, so there was one time I did PGL. Did anyone do PGL? Oh, Parents get lost. Yeah. Parents get lost. Okay. Yeah. And then it was going okay. I did. I was very good at Jacob's Ladder. Very good at that. Cool. That was a highlight. Where, where did you do your PGL? I don't know. In the middle of donkey licking nowhere. Yeah. Like, always in the most random places. Like, Adrian's Wall. Isle of Wight. But yeah. they, like, wouldn't tell us as kids. So you just get shuttled off in a bus and you're like, I don't know where we are, but okay. Mm. But they said there was a disco at the end, so I was excited. Yeah. Um, and Our disco got cancelled, so. <laughs> what? Okay, Why so this it? is going to come into it. So we went to do archery. Mm. And basically, as I mentioned earlier, I'm very claustrophobic. And it was way worse at the time. And I really needed to pee. And so I was like, can I go and pee? And then I went back to our rooms. And, like, I still can't to this day open, like, locks with keys. <laughs> like, if it's particularly tough, it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that's a challenge. Yes. How are you going to buy a house if you can't open the door? <laughs> that's why my mum's going to live with me. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't open the door. So I couldn't pee. So I went to the communal one. And then, this is so weird. But I went in there. And there was this big girl just stood there. And she went, <gasps> And she, like, blocked the toilet from me. She was like a bully, but, like, a non-verbal bully. Okay. So she blocked me, and I was like, oh, my God. I was terrified. And so I went back, and I was like, what am I going to do? Like, I, I couldn't get in my room. I couldn't go there. I was worried, worried, worried. And then they went, Freya, it's your turn to do some archery. So I went up, and I, like, pulled the bow, and there was this, like, boy who's doing, like, weekend. It's clearly his weekend job or something. And I pulled it up, and then he looked down, and he went, sir, she's wet herself. And oh. I wet myself. Oh. And it also the whole thing was on a slope. Yeah. So the we started trickling down. And before I could like anything happened, I was like, oh, okay, and I ran off and I like with the with the panic, I like managed to open the door to my room. Went in there, peed, came back, everyone was like, Where did you go? And why is the floor wet? <laughs> and I like have never thought so fast on my feet ever in my life. I just went, Oh, um, sir wanted me to go and talk to a uh, miss who's at a different activity. Um, she wants to cancel the disco. So I turned it into goss. I was like, she wanted to cancel the disco, but he said no. And they went, oh, what happened? What happened? I went, there's still going to be a disco. So oh, I invented yeah. some drama to distract from my piss. You so it was a, f- it was a fail. Sneaky of the from day. I like yeah. it. That is early dual sneakiness. Oh God, it was so stressful. But there, so like, it was a fail because I pissed myself during archery, which is the, the weirdest thing to ever happen. Yeah. Um, but I saved it. You made I, yourself a hero of that I brought story it back. as well. You're like Robin Hood. Oh God. And then everyone kept... <laughs> Pissy Rob, Robin yeah. Hood. But then at the disco, everyone kept thanking me. Mm. <laughs> 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 you bestowed this disco on us. She bought the disco to us. Yeah, and it was literally such a weak story. Like, she said no, but he said yes. Like, there was just no layers to it. Okay. But there was nice. a time. Yeah. No, good. Fail. That's solid, solid life failure. No, it's embarrassing. Hideous moments at school. Awful. Well done for covering that up. Yeah. I feel like I would have just, yeah, just pissed myself and taken it. And no, awful. you can't. You know what it's like at school. I was like, this is going to ruin me. This is going to be the end of me. And like, to be fair, we were in like year five and everyone one year left, but I could have 
I couldn't. Could, couldn't take I had it. to find a way out. <laughs> he, found, he found a way out. The panic was... of embarrassing yourself like that at school. No, no. I'm, I'm with you. I'm yeah. 100% with you. Mm-hmm. Right, guys. Th- this has been All I Do Is Fail. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, Freya, is there any gigs or social media handles or anything you would like to share? They, of course, must follow me on TikTok at Freya Mallard Comedy, but most importantly, Instagram, because no one ever makes the leap to Instagram, and that's just Freya Mallard. Okay. Just Freya Mallard. Oh. Well, oh, you just... I've just got Freya Mallard. I got it. You got it. Domain, baby. Ooh. Big, big stuff. Big stuff there. All right, guys. Yeah. Uh, keep. Pe- uh, sorry. All right, guys. Yes. Please keep subscribing to the podcast. Uh, keep listening. Keep sharing. We really, really appreciate it. You guys make this all worthwhile. Uh, we love you. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can follow me at Tom Ellers at all good social media platforms as well. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>